Hey gang, Tony here. I'm going to do a quick yard sale video for you. I did go out to the yard sales today uh, with my brother and we, uh, you know, it wasn't a great day. Hit the flea market, found like an item, hit a yard sale, found an item or two. Um, so let me just, uh, I'm going to just run through them today. I don't think I'm going to chew your ear off too much. Uh, the first thing here is something that should look pretty familiar to you because I bought one the other day. But I found another of these chilling, thrilling sound of the holiday records. That's how you say it. I'm just telling you if that's the correct pronunciation. I bought it because it's in a little better condition and it was only a dollar. So I figured, what the heck? Might as well, for a dollar, I could take like the better record, put it in the better sleeve, and then maybe give away the other one that I have. I'm not going to keep both just because of space issues, but that was a pretty cool find, you know, always looking for some records. And then I've got a couple movies, got The Exorcist, still sealed, DVD. I don't, I don't think I own it. I should really, I really need to like create a list or something. Pretty sure I don't own it, so I, I got it. So I could watch it uh, around Halloween. Eh, I'm pretty sure I don't have that one. And then I picked up Dawn of the Dead, unrated director's cut, still sealed as well. For this is the remake, which I uh oh Luna, get away from there. Well, you know, I mean, it's just a remake, but it was sealed and it was a um, dollar as were all the DVDs, so I was like, what the hell, you know, I could use it. And then finally, 30 Days of Night, DVD, again, a uh, dollar again, slipcase. Uh, they all look good. Well, the only one that was open that I checked looked good. I've been meaning to get 30 Days of Night. I haven't seen it in a really long time, and more and more people have been, like, talking about it fondly, like, they like it, and I couldn't remember liking it or not liking it. It's been so long. And uh, I keep seeing it at the flea market, but every time I check, it's either more than I want to pay, or just in shitty condition, like, like literally someone shit on it. That That's a thing at the flea market. They take big steaming dumps on their items, and then kind of smear it in and bring it, and then charge a little extra, because they put some effort into that. <laughs> yeah. Alright, that's it. From... I just some soap. <laughs> That's it from the flea market in your town. I got this. Um, this is a Jemmy animatronic. It actually ha this goes on them. It's a little vest that goes on them. But I took it off because it's not 100% functional. It does work. Um, it sings. The eyes light up. The mouth moves when it sings. However, it's also supposed to do a little shimmy. A shimmy like that, and it is not doing the shimmy. Hello, Luna. So I uh, want to try to fix it. Although, if I'm being completely honest with you, I don't have the time for that fucking shit. But you know, I want to try. I don't know. I think it's like a frozen gear or something somewhere because when I listened to it, I could hear a gear trying to turn. So uh, luckily that's the case, you know, if that is the case, that's a good thing because that means I don't have to mess around with the electronics or soldering or any wiring or anything like that. It's probably just a gear slipped or something it just needs to maybe be kind of pushed back into place, hopefully something easy like that. So, uh, I don't know, I'll give it a shot. These jemmy things... <sighs> She's going to fall off of... Uh, why are you doing this, Luna? Um, Jemmy's are just notorious. Now she's going to try to get on top of this. Jesus Christ. Luna, come come back on my knee here. I, um... Oh, God. So for those of you who don't know, my cat's blind. So, you know, she likes to every once in a while get herself in these situations. Back on the knee. Come on. Okay. She, like forces herself to these areas that she shouldn't be and then doesn't know what to do after that. Anyway, 
Yeah, Jemmys are notorious for breaking down and being just kind of shitty. But I buy them because they are also kind of collectible. Like, I pay, I pay $2 for that, and they go for regular, like, 50 to $75 if it was in the box and working. So, you know, I take a shot for a buck or two. I'll always take a shot. And then it's a project for some time. All right, guys. I'm done. Going away. See you later. Read the night. Bye.